After letting Dominic Toretto escape from the authorities, former LAPD officer Brian O'Connor flees from Los Angeles to escape prosecution. He subsequently relocates to Miami and makes a living participating in illegal street races, driving a heavily modified silver Nissan Skyline GTR R34. The races are organized by his local mechanic friend Tej Parker. After winning a race, the police show up and Brian is arrested. He is taken into custody, but given a deal by his former boss, FBI agent Bilkins, and US Customs agent Markham, to go undercover and bring down Argentinian drug lord Carter Verone, in exchange for clearance of his criminal record. Agent Monica Fuentes, who has been undercover with Verone for a year, agrees to assist bringing Brian in to the organization. Brian agrees on the condition that he is given permission to choose his own partner. This prompts Brian to travel to Barstow, where he enlists the help of childhood friend Roman Pierce, who served jail time for housing stolen cars in a garage and currently makes a living as a demolition derby driver. Roman, currently on parole, gets into a brief fight and blames Brian for his arrest but reluctantly agrees to help in exchange for the same deal Brian was offered. For their mission, they are issued two confiscated modified cars, a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7 and a Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider GTS. Roman and Brian are later hired by Verone, who tasks the duo to compete against rival drivers to obtain a package from a confiscated Ferrari located in a lot. During the race, some of the hired drivers crash, while a few are injured by big rigs. Markham, who mistakenly thinks that the duo is trying to run away, follows them to the lot. The police ambush spooks Roman, who shoots at Markham to help maintain his cover. Roman later confronts the agent for interfering with the mission. Brian is able to salvage the situation, telling Bilkins that Verone is allegedly aiming to launder his money in Miami before escaping on his private jet. Brian and Roman challenge a pair of muscle car drivers they raced when competing for Verone's hiring for pink slips. Despite engine and power output handicaps, they win the race and obtain the rival cars, a 1969 Yenko Camaro SYC and a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Roman later confronts Brian about the constant threat of Verone's men. However, they patch up their differences and focus on completing the mission. At the VIP section of a nightclub, Brian and Roman witness Verone torturing MPD Detective Whitworth into giving his men a window of opportunity to make their getaway. The next morning, Monica warns them that they will be killed once the drop is made. Despite this, Markham refuses to call off the job, claiming that it is their one chance to catch Verone. On the day of the mission, Brian and Roman begin transporting duffel bags of Verone's money with Verone's associates, Enrique and Roberto, riding alongside to accompany them. Before the window is set, Whitworth decides to call in the police to move in for an arrest of the drivers of the cars used by Brian and Roman. This results in a high-speed chase across the city, with Bilkins and US Customs also tracking them. The duo leads the police to a warehouse, where a scramble by dozens of street racers organized by Tej disorients the police. Following the scramble, the police manage to pull over the Evo and the Eclipse, only to find out that they were driven by Tej and Suki. As it turns out, the duo had switched cars and had escaped in the two muscle cars they had won earlier. As Brian approaches the destination point in his Camaro, Enrique tells him to take the Tarpon Point Marina exit instead of heading to the airfield. Meanwhile, Roman gets rid of Roberto by using an improvised ejector seat in his Challenger, powered by nitrous oxide. At the airfield, Customs agents have Verone's plane and convoy surrounded, only to discover they have been duped into a decoy maneuver while Verone is at a boatyard several miles away. Verone reveals he knew Monica was an undercover agent and purposely gave her wrong information on the destination point. When Brian arrives at the marina, Verone forces Monica onto his private yacht and orders Enrique to kill Brian. As Enrique prepares to kill him, Brian's ejector seat fails, but Roman suddenly appears and helps Brian to incapacitate Enrique. Verone makes his escape, but Brian and Roman use the Camaro to drive off a ramp, crashing on top of the yacht. Brian shoots and wounds Verone, who is then arrested by Monica. Markham grants Brian and Roman full pardons, and in return, Roman turns over the second half of Verone's money. The two agree to stay in Miami, and Brian suggests opening a garage funded by a cut of Verone's money Roman kept for themselves.